still did some market research for us. We need to shift away from that and start looking at customers as a um, partner or as a collaborative entity. So knowledge bec creation becomes a partnership activity, a collaborative activity. That makes, uh, you know, you need to start looking at customer relationship management as the primary engine that is going to drive this, these kind of initiatives. So as I said again, here uh, this is customer as an object, whereas here customer as a partner. It's a big, big difference. And, you know, even if you do all these virtual customer environments, if you implement all these fancy technologies, if you don't appreciate the shift, it's not going to be successful. So uh, I believe this is a key part of, uh, you know, adopting or launching a VC initiative, that appreciating that there is a shift in perspective from uh, being customer as an object to customer as a partner. And that has a uh, broad implications, the way you deal with them, the way you identify the customers, the way you um, share um, the, you know, the, the intellectual property rights, for example, with customers. So there's a whole lot of, but I think this is a, um, a very important point to understand. Now, having said that, uh, let's just try to look at it, this, uh, what are the different roles in a much more systematic manner. So um, let me start with, uh, um, if you look at product development and value creation, we can identify four different uh, roles, uh, what I call as roles, but um, the ways in which customers can involve themselves in these activities. Uh, the first uh, I refer to as customer as resource. Uh, second is customer as co-developer. Third is um, customer as user. And finally, customer as buyer. And let me get into detail in each of those, and then we'll come back and see uh, you know, what this means for us as we go with the virtual customer environment.